Christian persecution varies from place to place, but is defined by open doors as any hostility experienced as a result of identification with Christ. Christians are not the only people who suffer persecution, but they are one of the most persecuted religious groups in the world. So far in 2018, Open Doors reports that 793 church buildings were attacked, over 3,000 Christians killed, and 1,250 were abducted, 1,000 were raped or sexually harassed. These represent merely the reports received. Persecution of Christians in the world is both common and spreading. Briefly, let's look at two questions. Why are Christians persecuted? Suffering may have many causes. The Apostle Peter encourages us to make sure it is for doing good and not for doing wrong. So let's just talk about suffering that results from being faithful followers of Christ. We may need a radical and biblical adjustment in our thinking about persecution as we consider how we should respond to the possibility of persecution in our own lives. We may have misconceptions about entitlement and what Christian life should be like. We often think the following, that life should be cushy, that hard times should be the exception and not the rule, that hardship and suffering are unfair and purposeless, that suffering should be avoided at all cost because God owes us comfort and safety, that being blessed means health, wealth, and happiness in this life. But what do Jesus and the apostles say our attitude should be when we suffer? Listen to these words. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Go, I am sending you like wolves, like lambs, rather, among wolves. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear that name. Everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. How should we respond when Christians are persecuted? What can you do? The Apostle Paul provides an example in his letter to the Ephesians. Paul is in prison as a Christ follower and he writes to a church going through hard times and he is asking for prayer that he may witness effectively and without fear. Pray that they will know the hope that only God gives. Pray that they may be strengthened through the Spirit. Pray that God will deliver them. Pray that God will help us to be bold in sharing Christ with those around us. Write letters to the government on behalf of persecuted believers. Maybe help cover the legal costs to defend a Christian falsely accused. Help provide for a family whose father has been imprisoned or killed for his faith. And it's important to be informed. Remember that when one part of the body suffers, it affects all of us. Let's pray this, that God will enable us to live lives worthy of Him. And also, let's pray that God will strengthen those suffering persecution. Amen.